Hello everyone. It's the Jim and Dave Beer, Beer Review. Review. Dave, what's on tap for we, this episode? We've got some Brooklyn hey, Pilsner. 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 Brooklyn Pilsner. Pilsner. Yes. Yes, it's from Brooklyn Brewery. Now, what does the name Pilsner mean? Uh, well, it's the Brooklyn Pilsner is, is a refreshing golden lager beer. Golden lager. Nice. Beer, beer after the golden lager part. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a beer yes. review that would stand to follow. Oh, well, I first said Brooklyn Pills is a refreshing golden lager. Beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beer. Beer. Yes, we're from Brooklyn. I thought we were from Boston. Not Brooklyn. <laughs> Boston. <laughs> Boston. Boston lager. Boston. Brewed in the style favored by the New York Pre Prohibition Breweries. I hate the baby pair of pair of pair of pair of pair Hi, I'm James Earl Jones. <laughs> and I'm here to teach you enunciation. <laughs> it's pre prohibition. Pre prohibition. Yes, right. that's what got me. Was For those of you who don't pro. know, there's a time when this stuff was prohibited, yes. hence the term prohibition. Yes, thank you very much for for, for creating it's the mob. It's Jim and Dave's history lesson today. It's creating the mob is what the, was what prohibition did. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, there is no mob. States government. <laughs> I watched The Sopranos. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, I didn't realize you're an expert. Yes, in the 1840s, the Pilsner style merged emerged from Central Europe to become the world's most popular style of beer at the time. Like its ancestors, Brooklyn Pilsner is traditionally brewed from the finest German two-row barley malts. Two rows. That means they have one on this side and one on that side. German-grown, pearl, and... Uh, uh, okay, there's another word I can't pronounce. Uh, Hautau or... Show me. Actually, i got to take some German. I should learn German. Uh, Hautau. Hautauer. Hautauer. Yeah. Hautauer. Yes. Uh, hops... Okay, it's a hops. Cr provided Down a crisp, hop snappy bitterness and fresh floral aroma. Hello, Paul snappy America. bitterness and flesh floral aroma. The flavor of the malt comes through in the finish. Good, because I want it at the finish. We ferment it. We ferment Brooklyn Pilsner at cool temperatures, and then give it a long, gentle maturation, lagering. Lagering. Which results in the beer of superior complexity and smoothness. It's puff. We okay. believe that you will find there to be none finer. Unlike mass marketed so called Pilsners, Brooklyn Pilsner does not contain cheap filters such as corn or rice, nor does it contain any preservatives or stabilizers. Good. Brooklyn Pilsner is a real thing. Good, we don't like artificial stuff. There should not have corn in your beer. We don't want corn syrup. We don't want fructose. It's got uh, it's 155 calories. It's not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, the gravity is 12% Plato, whatever that means. Uh, that IBUs are 33, so it's not a, uh, you know, I'm going to uh, Plato means it's like, I think, therefore I am. Okay. Alcohol by volume is 5.1. Food pairings. Food pairings. Brooklyn Pilsner is a very versatile beer, which will pair as well with lager pilsner a wild variety of foods it's particularly good with fish shellfish sushi thai vietnamese and indian dishes oh. ham smoked salmon sausages assorted oh food oh god what's um, that Shelly. yeah yeah it's a it's a french name it's a french thing or de voir or de voir Hors d'oeuvre. Assorted? Hors d'oeuvre. Oh. Hors d'oeuvre. Oh. That's uh, like hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres? Yeah. Is that hors d'oeuvres? So that's how you spell hors d'oeuvres in French? So cheap, it makes a great aperitif. Hors d'oeuvre. It looks like an hors d'oeuvre. Aperitif. It looks like an hors d'oeuvre. Available year round. Yes. And the format is 15.5 gallon kegs, 5.2 gallon kegs, and 24 12 ounce bottles. I like the brown beer that they had too. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Which we reviewed previously on the Jim and Dave's beer. some review. awards. Won the 2010 Hong Kong International Beer Awards Best Lager Pilsner, 2011 World Beer Championship Silver Medal, 2010 World Beer Championship Silver Medal. Nice. Actually, it looks like it's getting worse. Oh. Silver. It was best in 2010. Wow. Then 2011 went to silver. Lots of competition. Oops, Sonia's here too. Hey, Pop. There's a Don't lot of jealous. beers out there. Wow. 
lot of beers out there. Sure we've are. We've got a bunch of them. Look at our 130-some beer reviews we've done now. Right. So this says uh, blah, blah, blah. I think you did all this stuff already. Yeah, me too. I need glasses to read that stuff. Yeah, I don't know why they make it so microscopic. Actually, I can read. Am I farsighted? And if I can't read here and I can read there, I guess I'm farsighted. Or am I nearsighted? All right. Well, I don't know if this was on there. Stop me if you heard this before. Brooklyn Pilsner at cool temperature. You know, uh, sir, Brooklyn Pilsner at cool temperatures. And they give it a long, gentle maturation. Yep. All right, good. Yep. I remember the word maturation. Maturation. Sonia. It's Sonia. Our other Sounds like another pack. kind of word, but we don't know. Look, a little blue on the TV up there. We'll call no. it out later. Look at those pussy cats. Yeah, you pet this one. I'll pet this I'll one. I'll pet this one. This is my pussy cat now. I shall take you home. All this right. So let's take a look at the color. This is very light colored. Is this? Ooh, a lot of bubbles. Yeah. Is this typical for a pilsner? Yeah. A lot of bubbles. All right, I meant the color. I meant the color. Yeah. I meant the color, yes. Yes. It looks like the kind of beer I always drink. Yeah. Cheap? Yep. All right, there you go. There you go. Hey, man. Uh, Eleven ninety nine for a case of beer. What can beat that? Oh, yeah. you know what that kind of smells like? It's like beer. Well, besides that. <laughs> At know. first, it kind of had, reminded me of, um, what's that one, uh, ja um, Chinese beer? Qingdao. It reminds me of Qingdao. 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 But, Qing. but it does have a... A classic Pilsner smell, I think. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely smell the um, maltiness. Yes. Hello, Sonia. Sonia says, pet me, pet me, pet me. Stop pet reviewing me. beer and pet the cat. Pet the cat, damn it. Because, you know, there's not enough cat videos on YouTube, so. Yes, we need more. Oh, more cutie cat videos. Okay. All right, ready to taste. Yes. What should we cheers to? Let's cheers to the cats. All you cat owners out there, yes. for all you dog guys, please feel free to comment below. We got and post a picture of your dog. We would love to see it. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that tickled my nose. It's very uh, smooth. Goes down pretty good. I could have kept drinking. I think. Hmm. It's got a very weird taste at the end. Yeah, at the end it does sort of have a I don't tangy, know tangy, tangy, it's tangy. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to say bitterness, but tangy is a better adjective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tangy. Mm. So, well, that's probably what they That's why be. I looked at the bottle, making sure it wasn't bad or anything. Right. But I can't tell there's no day over here. Yeah. Yeah, not the greatest aftertaste in the world, but it's very good going down, yeah. which, you know. Yeah. It's not that bad. I mean, I drank some over at Don Beer last week, and I still drank the whole thing, and I drank his, too. Beer. Beer. It's beer, so I drank it. Right. They didn't, they didn't make me when I said drink my thing, I just want to make sure. Beer. Beer. <laughs> you know. I'm so sorry, people. I didn't mean thing. I meant beer. <laughs> well, no. Sonny's licking the back of my arm right now. Oh, so. okay. And then I just, like, chuckled on my beer. And then, like, did a little blurp up. And I just got to drop a beer in my eye. Wherever here's mud in your eye, I just got yep. splashed by myself. Okay. Sonia. Sonia. Well, I give Sonia. it, like, a seven and a half. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. It, it's uh, just a little thing at the end. This strikes me as being a very tan. good uh, cookout kind of a beer. I think on a nice, like, warm summer afternoon that uh, this was maybe a little bit, excuse me, a little colder than it is now. It would go down really good. Um, I think uh, the pairings were pretty well spot on, although I think it would go good with any kind of, you know, barbecued chicken or anything like that, too. Strikes Spot on. Like I like that. Spot on. Spot on. Spot Maybe on. that should be our new reviewer thing. Yeah, this beer is spot on, old chap. <laughs> Excuse me while I go and choke. No, forget it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was wrong, people. Mm. Well. Yeah, yeah blimey. Uh, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Hopefully I edit that out in the uh, good takes. Yeah. I'll we'll leave it in for the raw channel, but uh, on the official Jim and Day beer channel, hopefully I edited that out. So, cut point. We get some subscribers, we could actually maybe break even. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. We shall see. All right, uh, so you give it a seven? Seven, seven and a half, seven mm. point five, seven point two point five, seven point. There you go. Well, I think it's a very drinkable beer. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not like, wow, this is so flavorful. Um, it's it's very generic, so I think, you know, the seven point five rate is probably good. Um, uh, I just want to make sure I'm not maybe underselling it a little bit. It's that thing at the end. Go ahead. Yeah. 
smoky there. Yeah, I mean, it could be a little colder, too. It goes too, down, I well, it, the beer that we had was in my refrigerator since this morning. Oh. The beer that you have has been in the, beer for the, been in the refrigerator for a week. Hmm. Oh, maybe we let it out too long, I don't know. All right, so I would I think seven point five is probably fair. It might be, yeah. I was gonna say maybe it's up to an eight if it's colder, but I think seven point five is fine. We can always say. adjust these things in later videos. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, there's a lot of things that affect this. You know, what what we're eating earlier. You know, we just had some coffee before we start this. Yes. So we still have a little. We need to wake up. We need to wake up so we can do a beer review yes. because you know we have such great personalities. You know, we try to investigate these beers, but our personalities. Our personalities, we're, we could be a regular Sherlock coma, you know what I'm saying? Just That's like, to me, uh, yeah. after a few of beers. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, so we try to liven it up. It's like, hey, we're caffeine. How's it going? We're, we're lots of energetic. Hooray for beer. Yes. <laughs> and I don't say hooray for beer all too often either. So, hooray for beer. I like that. Uh, let's say, I'll do a David Letterman thing. So, it is gentlemen. Hi, right, I'll show my teeth. And I'll throw something at the camera. Aren't I being outrageous and like a late night talk show host? Anyway. <laughs> That's it for the Jim and Dave beer review. Yeah. I don't think we have too much to add to that. No, it's a fine beer. Drink responsibly and don't drink and drive if you're pregnant. You yeah, don't drink and drive if you're pregnant. Actually, don't drink and drive at all, for that matter. Yeah, don't drink and Well, if you're going to drink and drive, make sure you've had at least an hour or two before you stop drinking it. And I had at least only two beers. Or, or better yet, don't drink at all would be uh, my advice if you're going to drive. You know, be, yeah. be a designated driver. Right, Sonny? Yeah. Sonny? Yeah. Right. So, what's your... I guess someone's right. going to take me home tonight and then drive my car back. And well, no, that's what the couch is for. You can have a nice sleep here. Or over there, the bigger couch. You can spread out more that way. You just have to bend your legs at the curb. I have to take care of my enemy mules. Enemy mules. Your wife must drive me home, and Chen will follow her in my car, and then he'll drop my car off, and then he, your wife can take your son home. Right. There you go. All right, so there you have it. Uh, please leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, when I get around to editing all these things and putting on the official channel, we can just have a little thing at the end and you won't have to listen to us say this over and over and over and over and over again. We made big flashy explosions, like yeah. and and, graphics and stuff. And uh, production values. Yeah, and, and have like stuff. a green screen thing in back of us because we don't right. show this old rickety couch. So it'll be, look like we'll be having a... It's a brand new couch, relatively speaking. Well, I mean, you know, you know, can't see how nice your couch is because you've got all this stuff over it. Well, I got cats. you got to cover it up so you can wash exactly. your stuff off. Exactly. Very nice. Yeah, we'll do a green screen, so we can do a beer review on the Death Star, and uh, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. And that way, if we don't like I it, we can like, do, blow away yeah. the brewery. Yeah, that, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or we could like be at the Jay Palace with the Kung Fu Panda. The possibilities are endless in the world of CGI. Yeah. Alrighty, <laughs> diary of the math, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very yeah. much. No battery. Uh-oh, that's okay. Goodbye. So long. Nice knowing you. Where's the cat? Down here. Sony. 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 Look up. No, Sony, look up. No. Uh, no, hey, no be nice. No. Be nice. It was nice. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye, people. Drive